Here's that time. Seems a lifetime ago, doesn't it? Yeah, that's when you think what's happened in the last year. You can't say I've thought of him much, have you? I've never thought much of him. Well, if there is one, to, you know, a funeral, you're going to go. Are you? I suppose so. It's a bit strange, though, isn't it? Yeah, well, we've all been there once already, haven't we? Mm. Excuse me, Mrs. Fowler. I was looking for my mother. Well, she's not here. She's not feeling well. Oh, she's OK at breakfast. Yes, but by 10 o'clock, she felt really rotten. That's why Muggins is here. She's gone round to see if Dr. Legg can fit her in. Well, what's she want to go and do that for? He's not only thick, he's deaf and all. I just told you she was feeling really rotten. Must have been something she ate. Well, thanks for all your help, Mrs. Fowler. I really appreciate it. Thanks for all your help, Mrs. Fowler. I really appreciate it. You don't fool me one bit, Nick Cotton. <laughs> 